Priscilla opens up this weekend, guys, in the theaters. I know you're going to go out and check it out. Uh, Priscilla is about the marriage between Elvis and Priscilla Presley. Let's see what the synopsis reads. When teenage Priscilla Brillo, Brillo? <laughs> I forget how to pronounce that. I'm sorry, I'm butchering that. Ah, she meets Elvis. That's what you need to know. The man who is already a meteor meteoric rock and roll superstar. Uh, someone... Um, yeah, so basically, they meet and uh, they get married and do all. You see it all from her perspective. Um, my initial reaction to it, guys, was that Kaylee Spaney here, who plays uh, Priscilla, uh, does a really good job in this. Uh, really, really happy to see that uh, she did a good job uh, acting in this. I was a little bit worried that maybe uh, it could be a little over her head, but she just, whenever she's on the screen, it just pops and she delivers some really cool action or not action scenes, but some, some <laughs> dramatic, uh, fair to this. And, uh, so does the guy, Jacob Elordi, who does all this. Now I said this straight up in my straight out of the theater reaction. If you are an Elvis fan, if you hold Elvis in this big high regard that he's the king, he can do nothing wrong. He did nothing wrong kind of mentality. And you can't, bear any scrutiny to that um and if you are kind of like well if you're going to say something bad about elvis then i don't want to watch this then you're not going to like this movie because <laughs> this movie does add it from her perspective and if you're going to be coming in saying that well that didn't happen and elvis didn't behave like that um guys my initial reaction to, the, to this because i didn't know this but she was like 14 when he started to court her. Imagine if that happened today. Imagine if a big superstar of today said, oh, I want to start having this 14 year old girl hang around. We would as a society say, no, absolutely not. Um, what's this guy thinking? And Elvis should have known better back in the day too, um, if he's so wholesome or whatever. Yeah, you could like her, but for God's sakes, you don't say anything about it. You don't look at it because you are going into territory there. That's very, uh, like, it's not proper. He should not have been talking to her. And he should have definitely not have been offering to invite her over to her house. Um, but all that aside, it happened. And this is what the story is from her perspective. Um, of the events I'm holding. So what what else are you going to get in this? You're not going to get big um, sequences of him singing and performing on stage of, and her watching. Uh, it's kind of like that's all the background stuff. You're not going to see the colonel in this. You'll see him talking on the phone to him and stuff like that and how much of an influence he had over that stuff. But like him going away to the movie sets and stuff like that, that's also in the background. Like there's the occasional shot of him like from the back finishing a performance, but you never get to see him do the entire song. It's all mostly about them and that kind of relationship. And I don't think people will like the fact that at certain times, he's not portrayed in the best of light. He's almost in a controlling fashion, got this um, power over her that's kind of like, well, I don't like you wearing that color. Oh, I don't like you uh, smelling like that. Uh, you change your hair oh, you read this book with me kind of thing because uh, there's a hundred of other girls out there that would like to sit and listen to me read and stuff like that. Um, if Yeah, there's that kind of stuff in there that if, well, he didn't mean it like that kind of thing. Well, from this movie's perspective, what this movie's trying to portray is that when guys do stuff like that, it can be perceived as being hostile in sort of a way. And I know, I know, the Elvis fans out there would not like to see him being betrayed by like that. But Jacob Elordi, who does play Elvis in this, does it in such a way that he, he doesn't feel like that was like his intent behind it. He just did these things and treated her in such a way that, well, yeah, I'm the king. I'm the big star here. So you should be doing like this. It just doesn't compute. And there's a scene in this movie where he, she does stand up to him um and says no i i, I can't I, I don't want you treating me like that so it's cool in that way i like that i like the fact that uh 
the director Sofia Coppola put that in there. But you kind of get the fact that, yeah, he's got this entourage, he is the big hype kind of thing, and she's kind of left feeling kind of like the outsider of this all throughout. Yeah, of course she's going to be enamored with the big rock star kind of person, right? Um, I guess he was an attractive guy. Um, I don't know too much about that. That's not my bag, but uh, hey, it is what it is. Let's let's uh, let's go in and talk about some of the early score sheet here. Um, acting, directing, and story out of a possible two points each. Um, the acting, as I said, Kaylee Spaney was good, and so was Jacob Elordi. So that's one performance, and uh, I shall give it a 1.5. But was there a big scene in there where you would say, let's nominate them for awards? As I said, they're good. They were good. But it's kind of like, there's not a scene in there that makes you go, wow. So for that, I can't give it a full two points. Now, the directing. Uh, a lot of this movie technically was well done. Um, uh, the cinematography uh, was well done. Um, but a lot of the production design was extremely also well done. Uh, there could be some pacing issues in here for some people. So I'll give 1.5 for directing because um, the makeup and the hair design, the costumes were all great. It was all phenomenally done. The story had an intriguing premise. So intriguing premises gets 0.5 right off of the bat. The story, I, I feel like if you liked that Elvis movie last year, um, it, this would be an interesting movie to watch as like a double feature be, between that Elvis movie with Austin Butler and this, because some events overlap and to see it from different, from the different perspective is kind of interesting, right? Um, yeah, we see the same event of her going to, uh, like, um, the hotel rooms and stuff. Uh, you it's just cool to see it from different angles. Um, and I think overall, what o Priscilla Presley was trying to do with this, I think she achieves it because I think it is going to get that kind of raw negative response from fans of Elvis, which I can provide a testimonial to later on. Now let's go over to the tomato meter and see what people are saying about this. 88% by critics, 137 reviews, no audience score yet. Yeah, I saw it on the Thursday night previews. A 87% um, is certified fresh. Um, let's see what people are saying. Boston Globe didn't like it. I confess to being a sinner, but nothing I've done as of late warranted the punishment of having to sit through two movies about Elvis Presley within a year. Well then, why are you a critic, Boston Globe? Why are you, it sounds like you don't even like movies, so get out of here. This Odie Henderson, you're fired. Fire me, Boston Globe, I'll, I'll write your piece for you. Uh, Wall Street Journal, Kyle Smith, muted. Uh, restrained and delicate are not words that ordinarily come up in a discussion of Elvis Presley, which is why Sofia Coppola's approach to the king is so unexpected and refreshing in Priscilla. Yeah, as I said, you're not going to see the big dance numbers or anything. You're not going to see him on sets. He goes away for a while to work on the movies and stuff, but then he'll phone up and say, oh yeah, I like you. And you'll notice certain things in those phone conversations where she's like, yeah, I love you. But he never says it back kind of thing to her. Um, it's, it's just like those kinds of things will rub people the wrong way. I understand that, but I liked what they were trying to shoot at here. Uh, anyway, Zoomer liked it. Um, while Priscilla would describe her relationship with Elvis at this at young age as entirely wholesome, insisting in interviews that um, sex was not a factor, Coppola doesn't let the predatory nature of that relationship slide. No, of course not. And let's get let's get brutally honest about that right now, guys. Uh, I, I, I said this that, yeah, if that happened today, we wouldn't stand for it. Um, he had no business talking to her at 14 years old. Uh, I'm sure that this was probably talked about ever since it happened. Uh, people were like, that should not have happened. That, and, and, and of course, it should not have. He basically, what's the word that nobody likes to say? Groomed. And he did. People don't like that. You don't like being called out about that, about somebody that they idolize. Um, it's not proper what he did. Um, 
I don't know. I wouldn't let that slide. And neither does Sofia Coppola. But it's handled in such a way that it's being shown to you. It's just shown to you what happened. And you have to deal with that moral conundrum with it shouldn't even be a conundrum that morality kind of question yourself that are you going to be okay with that are you okay with the fact that that happened are you okay with that here's like it's being put in your face a 14 year old girl and some guy it's like you feel that awkwardness in the beginning of the movie you do so i think as I said, it achieved exactly what she was trying to do with it. Um, let's see if anybody else of notoriety jumps off of the page at me here. 137 reviews. So it's going to stay around that uh, mark. Oh, I saw a word there that, I, that triggered a trigger word here that uh, may get people. Um, I saw something in here toxic. Uh, I want to address stuff like that because. Um, yeah, Sofia Coppola's moody take on the marriage of Priscilla and Elvis Presley is no fairy tale. Well, and and you, if you don't know, of course, thing, things didn't end the best of ways. Um, for sure. Okay, I, I thought I saw the word toxic in here, and I wanted to address that because um, the the people that will come out to defend Elvis here are, are just going to say that this is just. Uh, farce or something like that. They'll they'll say that it's lies because they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear the fact that what happened was inappropriate, right? Um, and I'm not condoning what happened. I don't. Um, if I were anywhere near him, uh, if I was his friend, if I was his father, I'd be like, no, you're not doing that, son. I don't care if you're bringing in the money for the family and stuff like that um and if you want to put me outside of your uh family bubble like you're saying that i'm not your father anymore for telling you not to talk to a 14 year old well then too bad then i guess you're not my son anymore because i thought i raised you better but anyway um yeah i i, I wanted to address some of that uh stuff here, I'm not seeing it. We're left with a movie that mostly consists of a confusing woman child stumbling around a mansion in high heels. Well, there's that angle too. And that's one of the most haunting images for me was that, uh, yeah, there was periods where because he was going off and doing movies and stuff and we're not seeing him perform on stage and stuff, she's just left in that house to her own devices. And it's kind of like there's a sadness there. But I think Kaylee Spaney, as I said, did a, does a good job with it. And uh, I think based on that, it's worth seeing. Okay, so let's finish up my score sheet for this and see where I rank. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be as high as an 8.7. Uh, cinematography was serviceable. It was interesting. Nothing really super, uh, yeah, in there. Uh, watchability factor. Uh, cinematography and score out of a possible one point each. Um, actually, they did do some interesting cinematography. I think I will give cinematography a, a full point because I think Sophia knew that um, Jacob Elordi at certain angles does look like Elvis, but at other angles uh, he doesn't. And they worked at trying to get only showing him in those angles and showing him in lights so that if you kind of squint in your eyes, he does sort of look like him. He doesn't look exactly like as well as, say, Lawson Butler does in the light as Elvis, but he, it was fine for what happened. Um, score, uh, of course, you know, you don't really hear that much Elvis music in it. There's um, another score over top, and I like the ending for this, music-wise. The score is very interesting, because wasn't there a story that Elvis wanted to do Dolly Parton's... Uh, I Will Always Love You uh, song, but he couldn't get the rights or something. And this movie ends with that song and it's very well placed. Uh, extremely well placed. So, um, score? Uh, I don't know. I might I might have to... Uh... I 
might have to uh, give more points for that. All right. Seeing that that gets cut off there. Um, watchability factor, one for sure. And I probably would watch it again. I don't know if I would want to own it, though. Seven out of ten for Priscilla. That sounds about right. That feels about right. Could I give another point for story, like 7.5 for Priscilla? Yeah, I, I could see that, the story. There's some editing issues in there. There's It's a little bit long at some points. It's kind of like, okay, well, we've done this part all over again. That could be a little bit redundant for some people. But uh, I, like the, I like the tone of it. Yeah, 7.5. Priscilla, I would have to say, is where I would land. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better, right, guys? 7.5 for Priscilla. What do you guys think? Uh, are you going to go out and see it? Um, it's a little bit more of an art house kind of feel. It's not going to be a big blockbuster of the weekend or anything like that. It's not going to come in number one. But hopefully, if you're interested in acting, uh, if you've read the book that this is based on, you may want to check it out. Uh, 7.5 is what I will score this movie. And um, it just... Kaylee Spaney here... Um, she's going to be in next year's new Alien movie. So she's really getting a diverse portfolio built up behind her, a resume of work. Because she started off in the craft legacy, right? And now she's got Priscilla, and she's going to have an Alien movie where she fights a xenomorph next. <laughs> wow. That's, that's a lot of range. And uh, she shows that she can do that. Um, I'm looking forward to it, man. Looking forward to it. All right, guys, what did you think? Uh, let me know if you saw this movie, if you agree with me, um, if you are an ardent uh, defender of Elvis too. I want to hear your thoughts on this. Uh, let me know what you thought, what they got wrong. Uh, do you th because I know that uh, Priscilla Presley signed off on this. She approved it because it's from her work. Um, so, uh, yeah, people who come in here and th there'll be people out here saying that more like uh, the story is not true. There's zero evidence. Like this is a comment from somebody that came in. Um, I expect to hear more of this. I want to know exactly why this. And because of this, they're like zero out of ten. No, there, there's there's a movie in here that's worth watching. Um, but just to know that I understand that there's going to be that backlash. Uh, I also know and I understand we can address this here too that Lisa Marie Presley slammed this movie saying that it was vengeful vengeful and contemptuous uh about how elvis was depicted because as i said they do address the fact that she was underage and they do talk about this kind of manipulation that he had over her but i got the impression that he wasn't doing it um in a malicious way it's just because he was groomed that way to be like that from the colonel to be kind of like well I'm the king I, I, I call the shots I do things right um, and if you don't like to see that kind of depicted in one of say your um, heroes or like, like if you think that he was like this pinnacle of perfection then yeah you're not going to like that um, and of course if that was your father yeah, you wouldn't want to see him being depicted like that. But as I said, it's not too... Well, there could be a couple scenes in there that may offend you the way that he acted. Um, especially when it comes to the, the uh, drugs and stuff that he was consuming and stuff like that. Um, yeah. I, I'll, I'll, I'll acknowledge that here in my review. I do acknowledge that. So I want to hear from you guys in the comments about that. Let me know what you thought. All right, guys, that's it for me. Uh, what did you guys think about this? Hey, if you like this kind of stuff, we do a lot of movie news stuff here on the channel. We talk about uh, uh, a lot of uh, other things as well. Uh, on top of that, of course, you'll see my review put up on the channel. Uh, we do movie reviews for Five Nights at Freddy's, Killers of the Flower Moon. We watch full episodes of Survivor Season 45 and Hell's Kitchen Season 22 up on the channel all live guys so you can come join us for that we watched the full series of fall of house of usher um great series one of the best series of the year the best series of the year in my opinion we watch movies like pain hustlers on netflix 
Yes. Of course, then we do movie news throughout the week here on the channel where we talk about all the trending movie news headlines of the day. That was today's uh, slate of topics. Um, curious stuff, huh? Yeah. Hey, if you like movies, come join us here on Mirror Domains. Hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you next time on Mirror Domains. Okay, so that'll be chopped up and uh, put up on the channel later on. Um, during the day, Bifer in the live chat says, hey, hey, how's it going? All right. So, yeah, that Priscilla, um, let's address that guy's comment here. Um, he says, nah, I watched the movie. The casting is so bad. No, I wouldn't say the casting was so bad. Uh, and it makes the inaccurate storyline just as cringy, but it's based on the book on Priscilla's own accounts of the situation. So uh, I don't see how you can say that it was um, false. And what I get is here's like a little bit of uh, tribalism in this comment where it's kind of like, you can't say that about my hero here because if you're going to say something bad, then I'm, it's fake. I don't want to hear it. Kind of thing. You can't put your hand, head in the sand like that, man. If there's evidence, guys, you know how much I love um, Taylor Swift. But if something came out where she was like abusing animals on the side or something, which she wouldn't do because she loves animals. But if something bad like that came out about her, then I would say, okay, fine. I'm not going to have a poster of her on my wall. Um, I'll maybe still listen to her music, but uh, no, you just, you, there's, you got to, you, you got to have a measured response on some of these things, right? Um, none of this stuff properly ever happened. She paints a picture in the movie that Elvis was a creepy, no, he, no. Let me address that right there, that word. Nothing like that happens, but the fact that he would still invite a 14 year old over to do uh, to his house and stuff um, is questionable. And it, it, the movie addresses that. 